the CT Smash scene knows him. So uh, if you know who I'm talking about, shout out to that Rob. He's a great guy. We LARP together. Really? Apparently, yeah. Very cool. And speaking of cool, we got Duck Hunt versus Sephiroth. We're not seeing Kazi anymore. Man, I'm, I'm on? here for it. I think I think the Duck Hunt getting warmed up. Like, Fawn loves to experiment with these characters, and they're objectively better. But her Duck Hunt just has that it factor. You know, it has that, I'm going to do something you've never seen, and you can never count me out. And I feel like she only really has that consistently when she's piloting this dog. There are characters that you only associate with their players, and I only associate <laughs> Duck Hunt Dog yeah. with Fawn. Like, I think I think Fawn tries so hard to escape that mold of being the Duck Hunt, but I think at the same time, Fawn is the Duck Hunt. Imagine being typecast into a character you're really good at. And Imagine. Not want, but also that you don't <laughs> want to play. Yeah. And, like, that's kind of where Fawn is, right? Like, she loves this character, but she wants to expand her horizons. But at the end of the day, sometimes Old Faithful is what you need to get it done. And she's looking to do so here. But Justin JPEG is still a tough wall to get through on the Sephiroth. And, I mean, this matchup, right? It can be hard for Duck Hunt to find those openings. Things. You have to get tricky with your traps, but we've seen Fawn do so here, and just the multiple angles of t attack has been too much for Sephiroth with the precise hitboxes. He's not able to counterattack it. Yeah, if I had to give any advice to Justin JPEG here on how to level up their game, is uh, maybe changing it to Justin PNG. Like it's just it's an objectively better file format, much clearer, much more consistent, and just I a better, better be visual Justin clarity. J I think he's just trying to be as opaque as possible, so you don't see his, his game plan yeah, with no any transparency. transparency you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, tech tech jokes here at Xeno as we find the coverage. Beautiful little shield can there, right? You can shield and still find the pings to make create a little bit of a bubble of safety for yourself. Fawn the master at using that and now covering high, covering low. But again, Sephiroth, you can hit can out of the way, but if Sephiroth does that, he's exposing the rest of that big tall hitbox to get counter hit from another projectile from Duck Hunt itself. And that, as I mentioned before, those multiple angles of attack are Fawn's key to this matchup. You just can make Sephiroth be forced to swing one way and then hit him from somewhere where his sword can't cover. And once that sword is out, it's a commitment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that Master Mune is big, but it is precise. And there is sometimes places Fawn, where you just down. wish you could cover yourself, like here. Like, how does he land? How did he land? I think Fawn was kind of trying to bait out that uh, down air. Mm -hmm. That's just, just uh, you know. Agreed. Uh, it's poor Airy. Every time I see that, I just get PTSD. Beautiful coverage there from Fawn once again. She knows those percent spacings to throw OU into the, the can so well, right? It feels like every time she gets a grab, can is already there, which means she knew not just where to find the grab in the first place, but she set it up ahead of time. Yeah, and, and I see, ooh, Justin JPEG getting mm -hmm. caught there by the, the gunman. Yeah, by the sheriff, I believe, to close it out. Only three of the gunmen killed Swiss. It's, it's, it's so poetic, the, the sheriff actually taking out Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. He is a bad guy, and the sheriff is there to okay. enforce the law. Swiss, do you know how gunman works? Of course. Yeah, there's a there's a short sta yeah. sh there's a short guy, there's a skinny guy, and yeah. then there's the well, there's, sheriff, there's, and then there's the outlaw. There are four of them. And they go them? by, yeah, there are four of them. Mm -hmm. And they go by uh, strength. No. no, it's a random order. It's a random Every order? Every game you play, yes. Oh. And, but they can't repeat till you've seen them all. Ah. So. I did not know that detail. Yes. So you don't actually know what's coming out. A lot of Duck Hunts actually are RNG. Like his F smash, the last hit is, is, an R, is RNG whether it goes up or down. If it goes down in two frames. What? If it goes up, it doesn't. So some very interesting scenarios, but in a scenario that's not quite at, or is also interesting is when you catch your opponent with those little grapes as Sephiroth, not gonna find too much though, except a disadvantage. State Fawn making you pay for over committing with 70% of your name, but not gonna be able to find the grab she was looking for there in the corner or able to keep the juggle going. And it's weird, you'd think Sephiroth would like the extra space to move, but with how wide the platforms are apart, I feel like Fawn has been trapping the space in between them on the juggle so well. And Justin JPEG mm -hmm. actually in the lead for the first time this set. Okay. Yeah. And I, th I think this is a much better stage for Justin. I mean, Fawn obviously wants to use the extra space to set up the can, the clay pigeon. 
but able to just run away and maybe find a safer distance with the sword is also working out in Justin's favor. So one, Fawn is, I think, the best Duck Hunt I've ever seen it utilizing. We'll see it here in a minute when she looks for another Clay Pigeon in the, the smash and tilt tosses. Instead, though, just going to fake the Clay Pigeon. That's what those empty hops you were seeing were. And instead, going to just try and find an aggressive approach. But once again, Justin, making you play ping pong with your own can, it's not a fun place to be. And instead, suddenly, it's just going to be a three stock to one game. What are we watching right now, Swift? We're watching Justin JPEG bring it back. But uh, you know what? It spawns opportunity to do the same. Already taking that first stock, and they're just going to have to play this very patiently. I like what they were doing that second stock of theirs, where they were trying to bait out with the Clay Pigeon, but also running up, shielding, and then going for a grab. Because, uh, the, well, the sword just has a lot of end lag. And did you see the difference in those two Clay Pigeons' angles are, right? The yes. one was, was Smash Toss, one was Tilt Toss. Oh, Fawn just trying to keep you guessing on the speed of her projectiles to make that zone of control even more ambiguous. Yes, the explosion gonna miss her, but gonna catch the can, and that's gonna put her in this disadvantage. She didn't have the tool to cover her defense. She thought she did. And now having to find her way back out of the corner and Swiss, I mean, Justin I feel like this, this game is uh, winding spacey. down. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go to game three. That's what they want, but Fawn is not going to go down without a fight. They're not one to lose momentum. They're like, we're going to fight every inch. And I like the coverage there. Once again, that hit lag from the gunman allowing Fawn to find the hit off the can. This ledge trap has been um, incredibly efficient from Fawn. But they so just much can't damage. kill. But yeah, I was going to say, the downside of Duck Hunt Dog. Okay. Maybe no aerial. Instead, still just racking up this damage with the can. They can kill at ledge, but you can kill with the back air. Yeah, Swiss, and not only the back air, but the sweet spot. Landing that middle third of the blade where it's strongest. Slicing and dicing his way through the duck hunt all the way to victory. Now the stage band's coming up, and... It we're makes sense. We're not going to see FD. We're not going to see small battlefields. We're just going to battlefield. It, it makes sense, right? You want, you have more space to dance around, and we are going to stick with the Duck Hunt Dog. No Kazuya Mishima here today. Yeah. I do think that's actually a difficult matchup. Yeah, if you have a character that has those ginormous disjoints, really, like, how do you get in as Kazuya? Crouch you have to dash. go in and you have to, like... Crouch, crouch Dash. So oh, Crouch Dash, you're right. Yeah. You're right, how dare I? Because Crouch Dash gets underneath f till. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Kazuya, what? Does Fawn know? Should we tell her? Sephiroth? We'll, we'll tell after the set. No, it's. I think it's fine, right? Like, she has tools, right? Like, using... The can, once again, that hit lag extension, this time allowing her to get past the down air that otherwise would have spelled death. Right, she is so creative at utilizing these these obstacles we think of as offensive tools defensively to create extra space for herself. The question is, how can she not find the offense, not find the scenarios, because she's done that, but how can she find a way to be more efficient in taking these stops? Well, she's definitely using the can a lot more off stage and having the gunmen fall down to their death to try and cover all the space. And just, wow. Forward airing the Sephiroth in the face, but Justin JPEG just kind of down smashing through it. Back into ledge. Oh, right. She just called out the jump there. They were saying, okay, I put clay can down low. You, you're, you think I'm going to think you're going to fall towards can. So I'm just going to call you out on the going high. Beautiful coverage from Fawn to find the stock. Now, though, Swiss, the pressure is mounting because it's not just can you take that first stock, it's can you find the extra credit. And 57, it, it's a lot of extra I was credit. Say, she's doing a good job so far. She just needs to hold on to this one as long as possible. Keep the pressure mounting on Justin JPEG. Justin finally finding their way in, but they have to hold on to this situation. And they can't. But the one-winged angel, out. That extra jump there, speaking of one wing angels, saving Sephiroth. Justin not going to lose the stock yet, but jumping into the blast zone. Oh, uh, the so one wing angel, angel giveth, the one winged, winged angel taketh away, and now finally getting on the board. Or, but is it too little, too late, Swiss? That was such an unfortunate error when it mattered most.
I think Justin just needs to avoid getting hit by the Clay Pigeon. It's what he's been afraid of this entire game. Every time it comes out, he's like, I'm going to walk away. Yeah, and that's because with how tall Sephiroth is and how light he is, this Clay Pigeon in pretty much just kills you when it hits you against a good Duck Hunt player. They are so good at those loops and that damage it, that you just go from 0 to 100 and then you're afraid of dying. But speaking of dying, like a beautifully efficient edge guard there, utilizing the double dumps, the forward airs, just creating pressure that Fawn couldn't get away from and just poking her right into the blast zone. One more stock left, Swiss. I, man, this is really anybody's game. The one-winged angel isn't going to last much longer, but this range, this power, if they get another edge guard like that, it's over. I love the attempt to combo those grapes into the jab there, trying to catch you with the pommel, utilizing the can to try and cover the down air once again, going to create the space needed to get out of dodge, but what was just a fawn lead is suddenly gone, Swiss. Oh, they it's, were waiting the, for that. That shield's so small. The pressure is mounting for her now. She has not barely landed a hit in a minute. That's not a trade. Looking for the back air instead, opting to set up the edge guard here and cover space, and it's not going to work out. She keeps it going, but doesn't have the optimal situation. But before she needs to find the stock on this interaction, a reset to neutral might just be her demise. Yep, all right, good tech chase. What do we see? No, forward tilt still not going to kill. 160, she needs to close this out now. Yeah, she needs this advantage state to go her way. A reset to neutral, she loses another neutral state, Swiss, and I think this game is over one way or the other. Right. With that being said, tip her back, you're gonna can twist, means it always sends can back towards you. And okay. when your percent lead is so much in your favor, you can trade out. Yeah, you can You can take these hits. You can take those cans to the face as long as you get the W. Dude, I, I love that, though. I love the back, the tipper back airs that Fawn was using just like that one there, right? That you tipper, it sends it out, but then it, it's a mechanic called can twist. There's certain duck hunt moves that regardless of where, which direction you're facing, how you hit can, it will always send can back towards duck hunt. It's up air, air, up tilt, tipper back air back only the back hit so behind duck hunt on neutral air also can twist and so there with the back air the reason back air is so good is it's a strong hit box to throw out by itself mm -hmm. it also sends can away from you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then when you ping it it pings back towards you so you can catch your opponents you can send can out at them mm -hmm. and then when they it misses them you can bring yeah. can back like the boomerang oh.